All right, we've been waiting for Final Fantasy 15 forever. Uh -huh. uh, but Square Enix is going to be releasing Final Fantasy Type-0 HD yeah. on current-gen consoles. So that used to be a PSP game, right? Yeah, I never played it, though. Yeah, did it come out in the West at all? No, just Japan. So it's kind of a big deal that it's coming out here. But yeah, we both got a chance to play it. And it is unlike any Final Fantasy game we've ever played. It's very different. It's similar to Crisis Core, a yeah. little bit. You know, you yeah, have another PSP game, right? Right, yeah. It's by the same director, mm -hmm. um, who's also working on 15. It's sort of this like real-time action yeah. kind, of, kind of game, which is a bit of a trend now in Japanese RPGs. Yes, I've noticed that. Um, and it takes place in the Final Fantasy 13 universe, I want to say. Is that correct? Not, not entirely accurate. So when the game was first announced, it was part of this like Fabula Nova Crystalis like mm -hmm. thing, but those are sort of like a collection of ideas. They're not, it's not really like a world that's persistent and connected. The setting for this was very, very militaristic. You're essentially protecting your land from invaders. Everything is just sort of like underneath the siege of war. And you were students at a school of magic, mm -hmm. right? And so essentially you're like sort of like the last bastion of whatever they stand for. Right. And so you have to kind of fight to defend everything, but you are sort of fighting within this it's a castle-like structure. It's not quite medieval, but it's definitely got that, you know, that brick and mortar kind of kind of thing going on. Yeah, but at the same time, there were definitely like flying uh, military craft that you had to yeah. shoot down. Everyone, soldiers had guns. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you had magic. You had summons. I think the summon was the fire Ifrit. Ifrit, yeah. Ifrit. But it was weird because like summons, typically you call it and it shows up. Yeah. In this game, you had to sacrifice yourself. Yeah. You had to kill yourself in order to use it. Right. And it would last for a limited amount of time. For the purpose of the demo, all the characters had re-rays on right. them. So when you would die or sacrifice yourself and the summon would run out, you know, you would be revived automatically. But this game is supposed to be pretty difficult. Yes. Well, I really like how the magic of Final Fantasy translated to real time. And I really like that there are a lot of uh, more real-time combat elements that you could use to your advantage. Well, for one thing, when you hit a guy, it felt like you were actually one-to-one -one hitting a guy rather than, you know, RPG systems that are real-time and you just queue up attacks and they wail on some guy for yeah. whatever. And my favorite character had a whip blade, so kind of like Ivy from Soul Calibur, and she could use the hook shot to enemies, which I found really useful. There was another guy with, like, a deck of cards that... Right, his name is Ace, of course. Ace, of course. <laughs> and, you know, he'd throw cards at a helicopter and the helicopter would explode. Yeah. But that's okay, because he was the only effective ranged guy. Well, so I disagree that about the effective part. There was All that right. girl who had the dagger, right? Right. She's really built for up close melee, but she had, the like, the two projectile magic attacks. Mm -hmm. She was still good at distance. And, like, you know, elements in terms of magic are always kind of a thing in Final Fantasy. Uh, her lightning ability worked really well for taking down, you know, robotic machines, obviously. Right. So oh. she was really handy for me. And then if I wasn't close enough to attack someone, I could cast a fire spell at them and then sort of dash my way up there. Interesting. I, I, did, not, I did not notice that elemental interaction. That's good to know that's fair. And yeah. this was on the PS4 too. And if you hadn't told me that this was a PSP game originally, I could have been easily convinced that it was built for the PS4. And the characters themselves are actually based off the pre-rendered cutscenes from the PSP game. They took oh, those nice. models. Right. But there are a lot of NPCs that just sort of yeah, just like that, that this like duckbill kind of thing. Um, but like for, any Final Fantasy, really. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but no, for an upgrade from a PSP to a next gen console, a current gen, mm -hmm. uh, Type Zero looks really good. Yeah. We've been waiting for Final Fantasy 15 forever. Uh -huh. uh, but Square Enix is going to be releasing Final Fantasy Type-0 HD yeah. on current-gen consoles. So that used to be a PSP game, right? Yeah, I never played it, though. Yeah, did it come out in the West at all? No, just Japan. So it's kind of a big deal that it's coming out here. But yeah, we both got a chance to play it. And it is unlike any Final Fantasy game we've ever played. It's very different. It's similar to Crisis Core, a yeah. little bit. You know, you yeah, have another PSP game, right? Right, yeah. It's by the same director, mm -hmm. um, who's also working on 15. It's sort of this like real-time action yeah. kind, of, kind of game, which is a bit of a trend now in Japanese RPGs. Yes, I've noticed that. Um, and it takes place in the Final Fantasy 13 universe, I want to say. Is that not, not entirely accurate. So when the game was first announced, it was part of this like Fabula Nova Crystalis like mm -hmm. thing, but those are sort of like a collection of ideas. They're not, it's not really like a world that's persistent and connected. The setting for this was very, very militaristic. You're essentially protecting your land from invaders. Everything is just sort of like underneath the siege of war. And you were students at a school of magic, mm -hmm. right? And so essentially you're like sort of like the last bastion of whatever they stand for. Right. And so you have to kind of fight to defend everything, but you are sort of fighting within this it's a castle-like